Here is a 52 inch Brown Hunter original, uh, but it is also partially brass because of the light that are on it. I got this at Habitat for $5. Uh, brand new in the box too, but the box was severely damaged so I had to throw it out. Uh, this fan did not come oiled, so I had to do that, which is no big deal. I added on the tassel pull chains that you see on it. This fan did come with a fifth blade, but it was missing one of the uh, screws that you attach it to the arms, and two of the screws <coughs> that uh, you, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, that you put it the arm into the motor where you screw that in. It does look like it is reverse pitch on camera, or at least for what it looks like on my screen. So, yeah. Anyway, here's the light. It does have a 9 watt, <coughs> excuse me, it does have a 9 watt LED in it. So, it is very bright, and I do really like this fan. This has got to be one of my favorites, hands down. And we'll start it up on high. This fan does look black on camera, but it is actually brown. So, but it is a brown fan. It does look black. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Weird. Um, yeah. This fan does have something and I don't know what it is but it's making a little it's a little noisy but it's not that big of a deal because I don't run this fan on high very much here's high with the light here's medium there is oil dripping from the motor but that is okay because I just oiled it <laughs> Um, um, or I oiled it a few days ago when I put it up and trust me some people <coughs> like newer collectors like collectors that just start think that originals aren't that heavy but they are heavy these originals are heavy fans like because they're made out of cast iron which is why they mount on the claw mount which you really can't see And here's low. Now I do like the low speed on this fan. I just wish it could be a bit slower. If you, if you really want my honest opinion. This is in fact my first original. I keep on forgetting to mention that. Um, it is kind of obvious once you see the configuration that you see on the fan. With, with the blades. That it is... That it can't go to 5 blade. I just don't like 5 blade originals. If you want me to be completely honest. I don't like 5 blade originals. <coughs> so yeah. Here's the with the light. I feel like if I installed this in like a restaurant. This is what they would run it on. A lot. And this is a really good like restaurant fan. Anyway. I will reverse the fan for you. Does jerk a lot though. Where's the switch? Idiot, I forgot where the switch is. There it is. Start, put it on low, start reverse. And I'll show you the tag at the end of the video. Slow up the light. And there, and I swear, there's got to be something in the fan that's causing it to be so noisy. And what really doesn't make me happy about this fan is that the huge difference between low and medium on it. Because that difference is actually pretty big. And it's not what I uh, would prefer from this fan, if that's uh, <laughs> a decent way to put it. Anyway, here's high. Does a good job in reverse. I mean, don't really need to use it in reverse because it's spring. 
or at least hoodie weather. Let's just start with the light. Let me set it in the right position for forwards in a second, and then we'll do spin down. Alright, we'll do spin down. And we don't need to turn that on. Alright, we're up to speed all the way. And we have started spin down. And uh, while the fan is spinning down, I'm going to get things prepped for the next video. Uh, which is, of course, a, oh, it's, of course, it's a different fan, guys. Come on. Um, do, do, do. Where is the uh, fan? Where's the light? Uh, not that one. I'm not going to do this yet. For all you people who went to Fanimation, I cleared a lot of space while I was down there. And it was so satisfying, man. Got it ready. It's another Hunter fan, by the way. So, I'm actually kind of sad to take this fan down, but it's whatever. I don't know where I'm going to put this fan. This fan does have a really good spin down time, though. Um, yeah. This fan does have a schoolhouse globe on it. This, uh, of course, didn't come with the fan. I put this on there. Originally, it I didn't want to put this on there because of uh, the tightness and the switch housing and things, but I, as soon as I put it on there, I didn't really care. <laughs> it just looks so amazing. Anyway, though, that is going to be it for this video of this Hunter original ceiling fan. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.